This week in reading, we're gonna work on character traits and making inferences. But today we're just gonna talk about inferences. We're gonna talk about character traits in a few days. Now you may or may not have heard that word inference or infer. And it's a fancy word that puts together clues from the text versus our, with our background knowledge, our schema, we put them together, we come up with an answer, we come up with an inference, okay? Clues from the text, our background knowledge, what we already know, put them together, we get an answer, we get our inference. Some people like to find their background knowledge, like Mrs. Harp and I like to call in our mental filing cabinet. Our brain is like a filing cabinet full of all kinds of information, all kinds of background knowledge. So when we make an inference, we use our filing cabinet. We pull it out, we go through all the folders, and then we come up with our background knowledge, okay? So let's use our filing cabinets today for a PowerPoint on inferencing. Let's see. Mystery box. What do you think it is? What does your filing cabinet say? Wait a minute. Holes? It's heavy? It's moving? There's scratching? Whimpering? A small bark? Hmm. Did you make an inference on what's in the package? It's a birthday puppy. Yay! Okay, what did you just do to solve the mystery of my birthday gift? You made an inference, boys and girls. Making an inference means reading between the lines. So if there's two lines here, you're kind of reading what the author didn't write. You're using your schema, it's a fancy word for your background knowledge or your, your brain filing cabinet, and text clues. That's where you come up with your boop answer. Your light bulb goes off. When will I ever make an inference? You make them all the time. You just might not have known it was that word. You remember seeing a note go home to your mom in your take home folder. The note was a reminder that tomorrow, that picture day is tomorrow. So here we've got clues, you're cluing in. You wake up early for school. As you sit at the kitchen table, eating your breakfast, you hear your mom rummaging through your closet. Hmm. Finally, what can you infer from this? <coughs> Excuse me. Finally ready to get dressed for your school day, you walk into your room and find your nicest shirt and slacks neatly pressed and laid out on your bed. Thanks, Mom. Let's try practices. I see bubbles rising. I hear my own breathing. There are fish swimming above me. I feel the seaweed swaying. So bubbles rising. I hear my own breathing. There are fish swimming above me and I feel the seaweed swaying. Can you infer what I am doing? Where I am and what I'm doing? What do you think? Hmm, hmm let's think, let's think. What do I think? Scuba diving. Now, hang tight. Let's go back, because I bet some of you just said swimming in the ocean. Scuba diving, because you're hearing your own breathing from the mask, it's called a regulator. I'm certified scuba diver. Otherwise, can you breathe underwater when you swim? No, no, you can't breathe underwater. So when we look at our clues, bubbles rising, which you see when you swim anyways, I hear my own breathing. Now we know we can't breathe underwater unless we have a scuba mask on, okay? Fish swimming above me, so I know I'm under and I feel the seaweed. So a lot of you probably said swimming in the ocean, which you're kind of right, but you, you have to look at all the clues. I hear my own breathing. You don't hear your own breathing when you're swimming, okay? Scuba diving is really cool. I haven't done it in a long time, but it's really cool. I hear screaming. Ah! My stomach feels funny. Can you see my hair blowing? I'm feeling excited. So let's think about our clues. I hear screaming. So my background knowledge says it could be a good thing or a bad thing. My stomach feels funny. My background knowledge says I could be sick. Can you hear my hair blowing? Or can you, can you hear? Can you see my hair blowing? So that means there must be wind moving, right? And I'm feeling excited. Screaming, excited, 
wind is blowing really fast, and my tummy feels kind of funny. Hmm, can you make an inference from these clues and what we know and what our brain tells us? Can you infer what I, where I am and what I am doing? Do some of you think roller coaster? Yes. Screaming because people scream. The wind is blowing because you're going so fast. Tummy feels funny because you're going up and down. I, Mrs. Peters, does not like roller coasters. No, thank you. No, not for me. So making inferences means reading between the lines. You're using your schema. That's your background knowledge. That's your brain filing cabinet that you go through the files to figure out what you know. Your clues in the text, and that gives you the inference, the answer. We are gonna work on this more tomorrow and later on in the week with our making meaning story. All right, so just remember background knowledge, your filing cabinet, plus your text clues, gives you your inference.